could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose How's it going guys? My boy Peace right here It's been a while since I've been on on here Been busy with junk removal jobs you know how it is, once you stay busy, you get busy, all right? So I got time today to make a video. So today's video is about, you know, how to price. How to price jobs and how to price your trailers or your dump trailers or, or whatever, you know, whatever you're using to haul up. So the way I do things, I have a 14 foot trailer, right? So I break my trailer down into four sections right i have a quarter load a half load a three quarter load and a full load right so you want to make it as easy as possible for the customer and for yourself you want to be like those guys who charge a quarter load a 9 16 of a load a 3 8 of a load a half load and you know in the 7 8 of a load or whatever the number is she's Man, it's, that's just too confusing for the customer. I mean, you can, customer is only gonna get confused and you end up losing the job, right? So that's the way I do it. I have four price points and I break it down. I make it real simple with the customer. And a lot of times I get the job closed. I mean, that's the whole point. So, I mean, I get times where the customer says, man, I like the way you broke on your prices. I mean, I got 1-800 got junk or college hunts come over and give me an estimate. They don't break down the prices like how I do it. They just give them a, you know, a number up front and then they're really, really high. And, and I don't know how they do it, but I'm pretty sure they lose a lot of customers by just throwing the number at them versus you breaking down the price ones to make it more convenient for them and for yourself okay guys so another thing is i want to talk to you guys about is not being overwhelmed with the job that you guys see or you guys are going to bid on so if you guys go to a, a house and you guys do a bid and you guys are looking oh my gosh this is a lot of crap i gotta deal with how am i gonna price this job out so <clears throat> The, easy, the way I do things is if I know I'm doing a full house cleanup or maybe a few things in the backyard, I'll just, just figure out what my full load price is. I, mean, not, I don't have to figure out my full load because I already know my full load price, right? So I'll throw that in and I'll factor in the distance. I say if you're in the yard and, you, and there's no way for your truck or your trailer to back up, you want to factor that in because that's a lot of time walking back so you gotta factor that in you want to factor how much time is going to take you to complete that job factor in whatever number works for you right so that way then you come down to a price that you're comfortable with and don't forget to add dump fees in there right come up with the price and make sure it's a good price to where the customer can agree with it and most likely you'll be able to close that job right so that's the way i do things that's where how i did jobs i mean i get a lot of jobs like that and i always bid it and i close 95 percent of all my jobs that i get <clears throat> working with realtors commercial just about anything so you just gotta be Confident in your pricing. You don't want to sound too sketchy like you don't know how to price Because that is not a good thing guys If you're out there giving a bid to a customer and you sound cocky and you don't know how to You're not confident in giving the price up And then That's a that's a loss for you man So just be confident when you're giving out your price. There is customers out there who will pay just to get rid of their junk. But be confident in your sales pitch. You know, you gotta be a salesman, you know? <clears throat> so just be a salesman and, and try to sell the job. Be confident in your price and, you know, and create that 
relationship with that customer you know it's not all about the pricing it's not all about being on just getting there giving the estimate and off you go right that is not how you want to do business right yeah me when i get there i want i want to try to get to know the customer first i want to say hey you have a nice house man you can get your dog man i got four dogs that's a nice dog well, what kind of dog is that you know what i mean you know, you know that type of communication you want to create so you don't want to go up there and right off the bat give them a price and just two minutes in and then you're out right i hope i put that term the right way but anyways you know what i mean right so yeah create that relationship first then you go about your way you got the job done yeah, congratulations Man, ain't nothing to it man this job this business is really easy you just gotta stay on top of it and keep keep going at it man so yeah that's how i price my jobs that's how i do my bidding and and pricing my my, my trailer all right so if you guys have anything that you guys want to want me to cover feel free to put it on, on in the comments oh yeah and put down how do you guys charge all right, I want to I wanna, I wanna hear back from you guys. How do you guys chart and how, and what are you guys' price points? How do you guys you know, go about that? I want to know, I'm really, I'm really interested. All right, so yeah guys, go ahead and uh, give me a like, subscribe, and comment down below guys. You know, help, help the brother out, you know what I mean? So, I'll talk to you guys again, peace out. And have a great day.